Use of antidepressants among Americans is skyrocketing. According to the Scientific American, adults in the US consumed four times more antidepressants in the late 2000s than they did in the early 1990s. Researchers estimate that 8 to 10% of the US population is taking an antidepressant. One of these antidepressants is sertraline. Well, let's examine the medication and more importantly, let's check out its side effects. Coming up. So what is sertraline? Sertraline is an antidepressant. The brand name is Zoloft. It belongs to a group of drugs called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SSRIs for short. And a shout out to Mr. H for suggesting this video. See a link for his channel in the description below. So how does it work? These medications are thought to work by increasing the levels of a mood enhancing chemical called serotonin in the brain. What is Cetraline used to treat? Cetraline is used to treat depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, manic disorder, anxiety disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, and premenstrual dysphoric disorder. It can be also used off-label for a variety of conditions, amongst them bulimia, body dysmorphic disorder. How long does it take before Cetraline works? You may see an improvement in your symptoms after a week or two, although it usually it takes up to about four to six weeks before you feel the full benefits. That's because it takes around a week for Cetraline levels to build up in your body and then a few weeks longer for your body to adapt and get used to it. When to take Cetraline? Usually you take it in the morning since Cetraline can interfere with sleep in a small percentage of users. Many people who experience nausea and other side effects from Cetraline, they will rather take it at nighttime in order to limit these side effects. So how to dose Cetraline? You initially dose 25 milligrams daily, especially in older adults, and then it can be titrated to 50 milligrams daily within a week or two. The maximum dose is 200 milligrams daily, but as evidence for higher doses is poor, 100 milligrams is generally the maximum dose recommended. In older adults, I do not use a dose higher than 100 milligrams. And if you're interested in what happens if you take too many medications, click on this link above. So if you're finding value in this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Might as well hit that notification button. When should you not take Cetraline? You should not use Cetraline if you're also taking Pimicide. It's a medication which is used to treat Tourette's syndrome. Or if you're, you, if you're being treated with methylene blue injection. This is used to treat a blood disorder called meth hemoglobinemia. Do not use this medi medicine or medication if you have used medications who fall into the class of drugs called MAO inhibitors or MAO inhibitors in the past 14 days, such as uh, isocarboxide, linezolid, methylene blue injection, uh, phenelazine, selegiline are a few examples. It is generally considered dangerous to combine monoamine oxidase inhibitors and SSRIs because monoamino oxidase inhibitors inhibit serotonin metabolism and result in circulating serotonin levels that are high enough to produce cardiotoxic and neurotoxic serotonin. Especially when starting the drug, we have to closely monitor our patients on the drug, not only because of potential side effects, but monitor for signs of suicidality or unusual behaviors or changes in behavior, particularly during the initial one to two months of therapy or during periods of dose adjustments, increases or decreases. I tell my patients or patients, family or caregivers to closely observe the patient and call the clinic if any unusual behavior is seen. So what happens if I suddenly stop Cetraline? When a person abruptly stops taking an antidepressant medication, you might suffer from what is referred to as antidepressant discontinuation syndrome. It's also called antidepressant withdrawal. 
and what people see or experience uh, from antidepressant withdrawal, they feel as if they're having the flu or stomach bug like symptoms such as irritability, nausea, vomiting, feeling dizzy, headache, a prickling or tingling sensation on their skin. They may also experience disturbing thoughts or images or nightmares. So what should I avoid while taking Cetraline? Do not drink alcohol and ask your doctor before taking a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAIDs for short, for pain uh, because you might use it for arthritis or fever or swelling. Examples of NSAIDs are aspirin or ibuprofen or naproxen or diclofenac and using an NSAID with a cetraline may cause you to bruise or bleed more easily. So what are common side effects? Common side effects include um, drowsiness, feeling tired, feeling fatigued, anxious or agitated, GI side effects like indigestion, diarrhea, nausea, loss of appetite, sweating, tremors or shaking, sleep problems, and a decreased sexual drive, impotence, or difficulty having an orgasm. If you're interested in the side effects of Benadryl, a common over-the-counter medication, click on the link above. So what are serious side effects? Signs of an allergic reaction, such as hives, itching, red and swollen skin, blistered or peeling skin, with or without fever, wheezing, tightness in the chest or throat, trouble breathing, trouble swallowing, swelling of the mouth, face, lips, tongue or throat. Signs of a low sodium, like headache, trouble focusing, memory problems, feeling confused, weakness, seizures, or change in balance. Signs of bleeding, like throwing up blood or coughing up blood, vomiting that looks like coffee grounds, uh, blood in the urine, black or tarry schools, bleeding from the gums. This is the reason why some doctors ask their patients to stop taking cetraline and their antidepressants before surgery. Signs of a very bad skin reaction can be seen, Steve Johnson syndrome, toxic epidermal necrolysis like red or swollen or a blistering of the skin, seizures, not able to control the bladder, a big weight gain or loss, sex problems like a lowered interest, sex or ejaculation problems, signs of liver problems like dark urine, feeling tired, not hungry, upset stomach or stomach pain, light colored stools, throwing up, yellow skin or eyes, a type of abnormal heartbeat, which is called a prolonged QT, has happened with some people with this drug. Sometimes this has led to another type of an unsafe abnormal heartbeat called Toussaint de Point. So question of the day, how long have you been taking Cetraline? Have you had any side effects? So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and if you're interested in any other videos, you can click right here, or click right here, click right here, click right here. Bye bye. In some sad news for this channel, my wife said she would be leaving me because I'm so addicted to antidepressants. Well, I guess I won't be needing these anymore. What the heck? What's wrong? What's going on with me? So many mistakes.